it's once again time to trawl through the update news for World of Tanks console this week and there is a fair amount and we're going to be able to earn some interesting different things throughout the next couple of days when you log on on Tuesday as of update reset uh, and we're going to go through all of that but before I do for all of those of you who are American of course I hope you had a fantastic uh, Thanksgiving uh, and we'll move on with the video now. So with this week's kind of events and challenges that you can be completing within World of Tanks console, Modern Armor uh, is, of course, the HMH AMX M4 MLE 49 December Earn Challenge, where you can earn the tank, of course. Uh, we did previously have the November Earn Challenge, where you could pick up things like the, uh, I believe it was the IS-6 Black, the Minotaur, and the Demolisher T28. So if you haven't already done this, as of the recording and upload of this video, then make sure that you do uh, complete that within the next couple of hours because it will be resetting tomorrow uh, in the morning at 10 o'clock. So 30th of November, that's when it will be finishing. And if you haven't done it by then, you will not be getting any of those picks uh, as part of that event. So make sure that you do, if you haven't already completed it, do that. Now, following on from that, of course, from that time forward, when the old event ends uh, until the 4th of January, which is when this event ends, the AMX M4 MLE 49 will be available for you all to pick up as part of the December Earn Challenge. It's pretty much exactly the same as the previous month's challenge so if you don't know how that works we'll go through it now and that is essentially that if you place within the top seven on your team with regards to xp so it doesn't count damage blah 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 it's literally just uh, the xp value so on the scoreboard where do you place one to seven if you do that you'll get at least some progression towards the earn up being completed uh, and that basically means that if you place in the top seven, you'll earn guaranteed one point. If you earn, if you place in the top four, you'll earn two points. And then if you earn, well, place as the top number one on your team for XP, then you will earn three points. That basically means that, you know, as you go through, you'll earn more points, a maximum of three points per game. Uh, unless they have an additional operation, which kind of adds in and ties in with that. But we don't know yet. Uh, there's also basically uh, the December operation, which obviously they've either made a mistake here or it's supposed to be like that. But I would very much doubt that the, it's supposed to be a Z there. So Wargaming making a, a slight typo mistake potentially. Uh, but anyway, moving forward, the December challenge number one grants you with basically 15,000 silver. And as with all of them, you can get discounts on the tank that is available during this event. So if you want to purchase one of them, you can basically get the 25% discount bundle unlocked. And as you go through, you'll get more and more discounts going up to 75%, I believe, being the uh, nearly the end of the event or maybe halfway through. But regardless of that, the actual challenges that you have to do is basically earn points. So as we talked about, if you come top in your team, etc., you get points. If you manage to earn 10 points, you will get the 15,000 silver and so on. The rewards are on screen right now that you can have a look at. I'm not going to go through every single one, uh, but essentially what you will receive is uh, silver. You'll also get premium consumables. And then once you reach 100 points total, uh, you will be able to get the 50% discount. Then you move on more premium consumables until the 250 points total so that's approximately looking at well you'd probably need about uh, 85 games coming top of your team every single time to be able to earn this uh, or 83 games even coming top on your team to be able to get this done at a 75% discount which is quite a lot of games coming top within a month uh, obviously most people won't come top and often for the majority of players you're probably getting on average one point per battle uh, for the average kind of player that plays the game casual etc uh, it's going to take you 250 games just to be able to get the 75 percent discount uh, bundle unlocked which is quite a lot of games and then as you go forward more and more you're going to need even more points leading up to the final reward being the tank for free 450 points that's 450 games on average getting one point per game some games you will get zero some games you might come top and get three points but on average that's what it's going to require for you to basically get this tank 
course, if you are better at the game and you can basically consistently come top of your team or uh, for the most part, you know, come within the top four, you're going to considerably reduce the amount of time that it's going to take you to do this. But place yourself uh, within that kind of time frame. You know, it might take you if you get on average two points per game. It will take you half the time of the uh, someone that may only get on average one point per game. So, you know, obviously it doesn't take a total genius to work that one out. Uh, but as far as the actual tank itself, if you want to purchase it, um, they have obviously the gold prices of being able to purchase the tank on the discounts. For the most part, most people, I suppose if you get to the 75% discount and you're never going to reach the full discount for free, uh, you could just purchase the tank. Because 3,845 gold for a tier 8 premium tank, especially if you want a tier 8 premium uh, French tank, then yeah, that's pretty cheap. It's probably going to cost you, what, like £12 roughly? Uh, that's probably worth doing if you are interested in getting a premium tank but other than that I don't think purchasing it at 50 or 25% is ever really going to be worth it because the majority of discounts coming on sale are of course 50 plus percent off of many of the tanks and yeah I just don't think that these are big enough savings uh, to warrant actually spending it considering that you can get it for free if you just play a little bit more uh, well saying play a little bit more play quite a lot more but yeah you'll be looking at that sort of region anyway uh, if you want to purchase it so 3,800 gold if you do manage to get 250 points within a month which I think is fairly you know that's not awful uh, it's not going to take you too much and of course it is coming into December so I expect most of you will be playing a little bit more than you usually do around this kind of time obviously not around Christmas day uh, which it will be <laughs> running into so yeah I guess it's up to you whether you want to go for this and spend your time in this kind of winter month month uh, dealing uh, that kind of points overall but yeah this is basically the tank if you want to check out the vehicle itself it is on screen right now you can earn 160% silver so you're getting an extra 60% silver every single game which is a very meaty amount and I'm sure you can earn quite a lot playing this tank actually especially since it's not an awful heavy tank at tier 8 if you like the AMX M445 this is basically the tier 8 version of that instead of being the tier 7 uh, it's going to have a similar sort of play style you know 300 alpha damage not the highest amount so a lot of the heavy tanks that you'll be facing will have more alpha than you but that's where you have the dpm advantage over them where you've got a 10.3 second reload base uh, going to be able to dish out uh, roughly uh, looking at about 1800 dpm a standard which is very very nice uh, in terms of getting out those rounds pretty quickly uh, however you will kind of have to uh, bear in mind that you can boost that even higher so you're going to be able to kind of hit the heavy tanks that may be advancing onto you multiple times before they can hit you. Obviously, as with most of the French heavy tanks, you have this side plate up here, which can be penned very, very reliably because it's not going to be angled if you try and angle your tank. So there's that. Uh, you also have fairly meaty side armor. So if you do side scrape, you don't want to show any of this. So you want to kind of finish the side scraping up so that they can only see this area of your tank up to the point where it kind of uh, basically... Um, slopes again so that's where you want to kind of stop it when you're side scraping that's going to make this tank much much better for those of you who are going to grind out to get this tank uh, obviously the turret armor if they do get this kind of flat area since there's not much sloping in the vertical direction it's all pretty flat in the vertical uh, there is horizontal sloping obviously uh, if you're looking at it directly from the front uh, but yeah as soon as you start turning that turret it just becomes a flat wall that the enemy can pen which is very reliably able to do that as well uh, so there's that you also have a fairly okay amount of hit points it's not particularly amazing 1500 at tier 8 is yeah it's a little bit tedious um, when you're coming up against some of those higher tier tanks and believe me it does play up to tier 10 and you are going to be playing against a lot of tier 10s if you play tier 8 premiums right now because we don't have preferential matchmaking going on right now but yeah decent turret armor from the front 250 uh, then going to 120 at the side and 60 at the rear uh, you've also got pretty good penetration for a heavy tank as well so you're not really going to have to struggle too much with those standard rounds to go through a lot of the tanks you'll be facing in this thing so yes it is a decent tank I think at 75% off it's worth paying for if you're not going to get it for free uh, but obviously ultimately you want to be getting it for free because why wouldn't you
Moving on into the next section of the video, we have, of course, the Cyber Monday deals, discounts and events going on within the game. So as of the recording of this video, they will be live, actually. Uh, so you've got the from the 29th of November leading on for an entire week uh, until the following Tuesday, I believe, uh, reset on the 6th of December uh, in the morning. So you will be able to take advantage of this event, uh, which is a, basically a tier 10 silver bonus event. So... All you have to do is play your tier 10 tank, deal either at least 500 damage, so do either that one, you could either deal at least 500 spotting damage, or you can detect two enemies or more uh, in one singular game where you survive and you get 100% bonus to your silver. So this is fantastic if you are going to play some of your tier 10s, if you're grinding for marks on your tier 10s, this is going to basically mean that yes, you can fire basically premium and you're still going to be winning every single time with a lot of silver uh, so yeah be aware if you're playing tier 10 right now or even if you're playing tier 8 a lot of the tier 10s you're going to be facing will be spamming a lot more premium because it is affordable to do so with this 100% silver bonus on it basically means that you have to either pen one singular shot with any of the higher than 500 alpha damage tanks which is you know pretty much a guarantee if you're playing in a tank you should at least be doing one shot of damage to the opponents or you know if you're playing a medium tank you'll be dealing what two shots of damage which is something you should be aiming for at least if you're playing um, a tier 10 which you know it's not <laughs> you should be getting that every game basically and if you're not Unfortunately for you, you won't be taking advantage of the 100% silver, but I'm pretty sure nearly every single game you play will be able to get that 100% silver. So it's always nice anyway. And if you're not dealing 500 damage, you're probably not going to earn a lot of silver in the first place. So doubling it is not going to make much of a difference. So anyway, that's pretty good event and definitely one I enjoy using, taking advantage of. And hopefully we can get a couple of tier 10 games uh, showcased on the channel in this next week to be able to show you how much silver you can earn uh, with that operation. Obviously, it's no, going to be nowhere near the Cold War event that is currently going on within the game where you can earn times for silver on the beginning tanks of the Cold War era game mode. However, not only have we got the tier 10 event, you can basically get some old retired premium tanks as part of this game uh, and week that you can actually play so you'll be able to pick up the combat cars which are the tier twos uh, within the game that were basically the t7 tank yeah do you want to spend 1620 gold for what's that one two three six premium tanks i mean they're tier two you're going to find it a very big struggle to fight against some of the other tier twos in the game and do you really want to go and play that tier i don't know it's up to you but you know most people probably won't won't be playing tier two uh, but it's always there for some of the collectors if you want to pick up these tanks for your collection it's not going to cost you you know the uh, above and beyond uh, but 1620 gold is probably in the region of about three pounds fifty four pounds something like that you know it's up to you whether you want to spend that on some old tier two tanks that aren't available usually for the rest of the day it's only available for one day only so as of the recording of this video if you want them make sure to pick them up as soon as possible now, not only that, we have from the vault the FCM 36 Pack 40, the Tier 3 French Tank Destroyer, and boy oh boy is this an absolute monstrosity at Tier 3, 400 metres vision range at Tier 3. Do you understand that's probably double any of the other tanks within this tier? Well, not quite. There's probably other tanks that have more view range, or oh, not more view range, but higher view range, maybe 320, but you are basically a vision port for your entire team with this tank and if you put binoculars uh, or the equivalent of them being uh, advanced optics you know the coated optics and the binox got jumbled into one equipment uh, so basically put all that on put on camo net you're going to be basically become undetectable even from uh, some of the light tanks within the tier you can outspot light tanks with this thing and when you have 110 damage, you know, you can wipe out a lot of the enemy team in a couple shots because yourself has only 180 hit points in your tank. So two shots of damage are going to wipe out the enemy version of you if you come up against one. And a lot of the light tanks have pretty much low hit points anyway. And if you can take out the enemy vision, you are basically going to become unstoppable. It's kind of like one of those broken situational tanks where if you're playing a map like El Halouf, where you've got large open spaces, uh, some of those large open maps, maps 
yeah, this thing can be absolutely ridiculous. And if you want to check out some videos of that, there are some on the channel, which you can do. Uh, and also, if you just type into YouTube, the FCM 36 Pack 40, I'm sure there are many videos about the bathtub just being absolutely broken. And yes, it is a premium tank that will be earning you 130% base silver earn rate and also 160% XP earn rate. So, hmm... Yeah, not a tank I think is that is particularly uh, very balanced by Wargaming, but there you go. It's one of the old ones and they weren't particularly very good at balancing them back in the day and still aren't. I mean, Armadillo. But moving forward, Panzer 2D, the tier 2 German tank. Oh, I just don't bother with that. The Tetrarch was released for free, which most people got, uh, but you can pick that up. What, 1,200 gold. It's another light tank. You know, if you're interested in tier two, I'm not going to go into detail on these kind of ones um, because they're just pretty boring tanks. Uh, and then, of course, the LTP, uh, which is the tier three. You know, I'm pretty sure most people got this as well as part of a holiday event. Uh, so I guess that what they're doing is just releasing some of the holiday tanks for free again. Uh, or not for free, but you have to purchase them this time. Uh, but it was uh, 1,080 gold as opposed to what they put on the website, which is apparently 850 gold. Uh, hmm, why is it now more? I guess that they're releasing premium ammunition with the tank, boosting that gold value up uh, rather than just the base cost of the tank. So be aware when they put savings because this is exactly what I mean. It's hard to notice it when you've got like the 10,000 golds worth. Um, but yeah, you can see with this bundle, it's more expensive and it has a 10% discount and the tank is actually only worth 850 gold. So, hmm, something to be aware of. Anyway, this is the last day to pick up 50% off 360 days of premium. I would recommend as well, if you have any spare silver, whack it on equipment because it's basically going to mean that when you then sell your equipment again, if you're hesitating, do I put equipment on my tank that I'm going to be grinding? Now is the time because it's going to jump up by 25% in silver cost. Uh, what thing, One thing that you will note is actually if you buy it now and then sell it when the event ends, you can actually only, only lose the 25% of silver uh, from selling it because effectively you bought it at a lower price, it then goes up to the full price and then you sell it at 50% of the full price. Um, so that means that you don't lose as much silver from purchasing the equipment itself. Unfortunately, Wargame still don't have the gold option to remove your equipment from your tank for full price because, yeah, I guess they think that they can earn more silver uh, off of you um, from purchasing it. And yeah, I guess that that's what their kind of idea is anyway. Uh, then, of course, we have no November Tank of the Month. Would I recommend it? You know, you get a decent amount of gold and a premium tank? Maybe. I don't know. But it's up to you with regards to that one. It's not the end of the world. $10, you know, I guess it's up to you. A couple of pints at the pub. Um, but there we go. Other than that, that is basically this week in World of Tanks in terms of the events. Of course, we will have some more information as to what is going to be released in terms of the earn operations uh, for the future, what we may get from the tanks revamped and all of that kind of information regarding the full update uh, patch notes. We will be covering that in tomorrow's video. So hopefully you will in stay tuned for that and make sure that you are subscribed to be up to date with that uh, when it does drop and any information that we do get from wargaming themselves as well as some guides and gameplay that are all featured on this channel and of course make sure to like the video if you did like it and dislike it if you don't because you know it's always good to get your opinions as to what you think of these videos thank you very much to all of you who have subscribed we have reached 7450 subscribers of the recording of this video which is just absolutely crazy to think so many of you within this last year have decided to join the channel and kind of um stick around and yeah has been really 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 fantastic but other than that i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i hope you'll join me back in the next video goodbye